So for today, we're going to be looking at the Guardian Games 2022 set. If you guys don't know, I actually did not make a review for this armor set last year, mostly because I did not have a, didn't have enough bright dust. But thankfully, I had enough bright dust to get all these three plus the 2023 set. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll post it right now. You guys can check that video out as well, because we're basically going to do the same thing we're doing here, where we review the armor, uh, how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys because you guys are the reason why this channel is doing so well. And I just wanted to thank you guys. So let's get into it for the armor sets. I, I think all of them are bangers. Let me just get this out the way, bro. This is probably the best Guardian Games armor, period, because no one lost. Everyone ate well. And the only the only one that I can see not or like the only one who quote unquote lost because I can't say anyone lost. Everyone got some dope bangers, but if you had to choose or if you had to tell me like tony you have to choose a loser who lost to you i would personally say warlocks lost just because one of those pieces are not that good so we'll get into it when we get into it but for the hunters whisper of the victor is what it's called survival of the strong for the titans and cunning of the contender for the warlocks um super cool for the hunter i am be real with you guys you know what i think the hunter and titan are equally uh in the in the same rank you know what? I think everyone. Okay, okay. Let me look. The reason I say this is because there's pieces of the pieces, or there's pieces of the sets that I don't like. For the hunter, it's gonna be the arms. I don't like the arms for the hunter. Um, it could probably be it's because it's asymmetrical. But I also, man, actually, that's probably it. Because if I if it had another pauldron, I think it would have been cool. Or the titans, it's gonna be the arms again. But it's not bad. It's just it's not as strong as the other pieces. But I do think the titans got up uh are up top because i just think all those pieces are really good uh, we'll see uh for the warlock the boots are the only piece that i don't like <clears throat> so let's get into the hunter the hunter i think is super cool um one thing that i did not know actually about this set is the fact that when you have a helmet that takes off your cloak this one actually puts down your cloak so it doesn't take it away immediately it puts it down like the uh like the grasp of avarice cloak for the hunters uh, if you guys don't know that cloak actually goes down instead of just completely takes it away so for the whisper of the victor it actually puts it down and immediately i was like all right this cloak just got like fucking 50 more points because i did not know it did that um hopefully i can show you right now if not i do apologize but yeah it's super dope and i'm very happy that they chose that because i will always choose them to put the cloak down instead of just making it disappear because i just feel like that's the lazy choice for the helmet, I think it's super cool. Definitely excited to use it on some like cyberpunkish looks. For the chest piece, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, this goes for everyone, by the way, just because the chest piece has the Guardian Games insignia, which doesn't change color. Um, I just think it's bro, it's the year of my lord 2023, bro. Can we get pieces that change color, please? Like, come on, like, what is this? Um, that being said, I still like the chest piece, even though it doesn't have does it doesn't change color in the middle. But I still think it's cool for the boots. I think this is the best piece from the whole set. I think this and the cloak are bangers. I definitely think I'm going to be using these two pieces in a lot of sets. Titans, I think the helmet is the best piece from the whole set. I think it's super cool. Boots are also super cool. The arms, the only reason I'm not the biggest fan of the arms is because they're on the more smaller side. But even then, I still think they look fine. And then the mark, as cool as it looks, I will probably never wear this just because the shader is really weird. And then for the warlock the helmet best helmet warlocks have right now i think it's such a fucking cool helmet and no one will tell me any different for the chest piece i think it's so cool it's just very unfortunate that the insignias don't change color the arms very basic i don't mind them but i just i do think they're kind of basic and then for the boots it's very unfortunate because they look cool from what you see but if you have an open faced chest piece where it's basically just really opening the front, then you guys will see that it's just very immediately boring, unfortunately. And then the mark is it's a mark. It's it's rarely ever good. So as for how it shaders.
as you guys saw, a lot of the shaders are taking really well. The only thing that's very unfortunate is when you go up to Cryptic Insignia, you guys will notice how weird the Titan's mark looks, which is why I said I probably won't use it because some shaders take that, like just this weird texture, which is really weird. Not even texture, but it's just weird. Like it's like black, but also blue. Very unfortunate. Uh, other than that, if you guys ever want to have like a very glowy uh, guardian, this is going to be the set you're going to want to go for because the glows are just on point aside from maybe a really bright shader like Cryptic Insignia won't be a good example. But when you go into like Abyssinian Gold or Ancient Wisdom, then you guys will notice like, oh my God, the glows are really, really intense. But I would have to say something dark will be your best friend at this point because then you'll see the, the glows a little bit more, especially for the helmets, because the helmets, if you go for a bright look, the glow usually will not be taken really well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like I really like this armor set a lot. It's definitely probably my favorite right now because of just how good it looks. Like I'm getting like I also have already made the example sets for all of these already. So I'm excited to share those with you for the helmet for the war warlocks. I just think it looks so good. Like, especially if you want to go for like a cyberpunk theme, that's going to be the best helmet in the game. The hunters. Oh my God. I didn't make this into an example set, but the, the cloak has like this really cool, uh, like glowing effect inside of the cloak. So you could probably put the Apollo's helmet on and it'll look and obviously put a, like a red glow in the back. It'll look so cool. Like I'm, I have so many plans for this armor set. Don't expect just an example set. We're going to go probably, we're probably going to go ham on this armor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else, uh, I should probably tell you guys right now. I still, I'm working on the exotic videos. It's just that guardian games is here. I want to do some things before we get into it. But even then I still have a lot of things planned. So. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.